here on Navigator, you see the created stories. To activate the story, do a double click and it gets as bold text. Click on Terrain and we're gonna insert a topographic survey in DWG. We generally receives it in DWG. Go to File, the external content. And here we could make it in two different ways. One is attaching XREF, but since ArchiCAD version 22, it has shown many problems. So I prefer to use the external drawing method. And that's what we're gonna do. Click on Place External Drawing. In the folder of DWG References, choose the file Orlando House Topography. Open. I work in centimeters, but as I don't have this option here, I'll put custom millimeters 10 by 1, because multiplying millimeters by 10, we get centimeters. Place, I'll click here. The program is searching a font, I will skip all. This drawing comes as a block. I will place the side corner into ArchiCAD's origin point. So Control D to drag. I'll click here at the corner. And after that here, in this X, that is the origin to be used as reference. We need to explode the drawing and it's very simple. Just clicking with mouse right button on the empty area. You could see this option explode into current view. I click here. OK. And you can select only the background and erase. I'll press delete. And then I'll keep just the lines of this object. But some students have related problems to explode the drawing and now I will explain why it happens on ArchiCAD 23 and how to solve it. Ctrl Z to undo. So I come back with my drawing in a block. If you have this problem, go to Document, Renovation, Renovation Filter Options, Inside here, if your ArchiCAD is marking the option Existing Plan, you need to change it for Show All Elements. Or, here in Existing Plan, you'd have to put New Elements here as Show. But I'll keep this as Hide Elements. And I'll choose Show All Elements. And the reason is that the drawing comes as new element and it disturbs when you try to explode. So click with mouse right button, explode into current view, click OK, and it's done, the drawing is exploded. I select the drawing and erase the background pressing delete. I will turn off suspend groups, so keep, keep it unmarked to select many objects at the same time, as I do in here. Select the drawing and go into settings dialog. Here, you can see that the renovation status of this element is new. So this is the problem. I'll change to existing to avoid other problems and I'll keep this as existing element. I'll change line paints to a red color to highlight 113 
and also select the texts and change to red. Then my topographic drawing is ready. It is just a 2D drawing brought from AutoCAD. So now I'm going to use the Mesh 2 to model the terrain. Go into Mesh 2. I can also do a double click to enter on Settings dialog. So here first I can choose how much soil volume we're going to have beneath the base level. I'll keep one meter. Next one is the level in relation to home story. I'll keep zero. The home story is terrain, which is minus three to project zero. Here we have the option to show only the surface, the surface with projections, or surface and earth volume. I'll keep it. Building material, I'll choose soil. 2D representation are already correct according our template. So here in cover fields, I will keep this green solid. In model, I'll keep the upper surface with grass green. And I could turn on other surface with earth brown but it's not necessary because it's using soil material here in building materials. In layers, I'll keep arc tree existing site. Okay. Here on geometry method, I'll choose rectangular. Click on the corner. And finalize clicking on opposite corner. Pay attention to precision. The mouse is a white pencil and it becomes a black pencil when the node point is reached. I do a click and here you have the mesh. It is above the curves. So select the mesh. And here in this bar, I have the option send to back. Looking on 3D window, you see that the terrain is plain with one meter of soil. So selecting it and going to settings dialog, we could see this earth volume. If I put two meters, you see the earth volume increasing. I'll keep one meter. Well, to understand the project, this curve on the entrance of my terrain is H30, and it's going to be the zero level in my project. Thus, H31 is one meter above. The terrain comes back to zero level, and then H29 is minus 1, and H28 is minus 2 meters. So this is my, my project. And I will select the mesh I have modeled, and clicking on Mesh 2, I'll place, I'll place the mouse over this first curve, H30. And pressing space bar, the magic wand appears. Do a click. And this window, new mesh point, I'll keep these options. Press OK. And the level curve is created. I will make it for all curves, pressing space bar and clicking. Going to 3D, 
You can see the curves, but they are all plain. So now let's elevate the points. Select the mesh. Click in a point in the middle of the curve. This floating palette appears. Click in Elevate Mesh Point. Inside this box, change the reference to Project Zero. This curve is on zero level. Mark Apply to All because we want this level applied to all points in this curve. OK. You see the ads being created. I'll do the same steps to next levels. So here, I click in the point. It is 100. Next is 0. Here I have the minus 1 and minus 2. Pay attention not to select the 2D drawing. Here is the 2D drawing and here is the mesh. So you need to select the mesh, click and click in these points. Go into 3D. You see the curves in different levels. However, the corner points are not on correct levels yet. In floor plan, the topographical survey indicates these points. So I click here. I change again to project zero. And here we have 830.22. So it's 22 centimeters. And this time I won't mark apply to all because only this corner point will be elevated. Next point is minus seven. Here we are seven centimeters below minus two meters. So it's minus 207 and the last point and the last point is minus 230 in 3d you can see that everything is right Just before we continue the plane, I'm going to show some modeling options. Selecting the mesh and clicking on the mesh edge, the floating palette allows you to insert a new point. So I can insert new node. I can curve the edge. Edit segment using tangent. Offset add. I can put a value. Offset all edges. Add to polygon. So I could choose here a geometry method. It could be a polygonal form to add in the mesh or rectangular, for example. Subtract from polygon. It does the same, but subtracting. So we have these options and clicking in the nodes we have other options like move node, fillet and chamfer. So I could put a fillet value here, radius. 
So, for example, three meters of radius or chamfer. So we have all these options. Now I will fix these sharp edges in the middle of the mesh. First, in floor plan, I'll put the 2D drawing in the topographic layer to be closed. So here on layer, I'll put it in the topographic DWG topography. I'll select other polylines that I need to change to this layer that is closed. Here I have the texts. And some other points here. Okay, so select the terrain for planning section. In outlines, we have read selection, and I'll choose show user defined reads. So now, 2D representation is right. In 3D, we still see these sharp ridges. Select the mesh. Enter on settings dialog. And here in model, I'll put all ridges smooth. Okay.